artists are stupid. You have to understand. Artists are artists. One are insane, and then second, they're stupid. You can lock them in a closet and slide paper under the door. They'll slide it out with drawings on it, just so they can get more paper. People would look at it and go, "Wow, this is cool." I don't know who'd publish it. It still took 80 phone calls before I got a call back. Oh, no, my mom tells me I'm really good. I quit my day job for good in 2007, so, uh, and Clumsy I'd written in 2001, so it was, it was a good six years of where I seized, like it started making a little bit of money and then a little more and a little more, but, um, I mean one of the biggest issues was health insurance and I maybe, I maybe could have quit earlier, but just the health insurance alone where, and I have a pre-existing condition. So it's like harder to get my own health insurance anyway, and so um, that was probably the biggest factor for staying a little bit longer. But also the the security of like a regular paycheck as opposed to now I might make as much or more money than like working like as a manager, a department manager at, at this bookstore. <laughs> Is that but, what you were doing before? Yeah, I was okay. a the music manager at a Barnes and Noble. Okay. Um, but so. The difference now is like the pay comes so irregularly, so it's like I might, like the amounts might be similar, but like when you get the amounts and like like when you do the work and when you get paid for the work, it's 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 much much different and less reliable. It's harder to get a handle on how to budget things to take that into account. So that that's the one thing that um, that kind of kept me at the day job a little bit longer. When when. But, what was the decision? Like, how did you decide now is the time? Uh, it just got to the point where I, I, more and more when I was at work at, at the bookstore, I felt like, like I just wanted to get home and get drawing or writing. And so it just, it, um, it was a, I mean, it was a gradual thing, like, and it just like kind of built up more and more like that feeling like like I'm wasting my time here not and I I mean I liked working at the bookstore but it was just like 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 I this this is time I could be getting this other work done that I want to do and, um, so yeah and then it just there was a tipping point I don't like there wasn't a specific event or anything but it was just you know and uh, tell me about the fear of making that leap <laughs> well I, yeah I mean it's a it's a big fear because um, you, you know, like when I, so when I was quitting, I was like, you know, the, I was kind of working on the Simon Schuster deal. I didn't, you know, and so like I had that kind of set. And the cat book, the first cat book was coming out. And so I had that. But, you know, you never know when the next deal is or, or how much it'll be for. Um, so it's kind of scary to like like again like the, the idea of like a regular paycheck versus something so irregular and unreliable in a way. Um, like a lot a lot of times you'll do like I'll do freelance illustration work and like some places are really good and they'll they pay you right away and then some places like you have to bug them and some places you don't have to bug them you just have to be patient <laughs> and uh, so um, and yeah I like even now. It's, it's like um, even though I have an established career, like like what projects I want to do and like what projects I can like a, the right time for. It's, it's still kind of scary and like you know there there have been times when I thought like maybe I should go back to like having this part time day job and like have that like kind of regular income.